Welcome back to our minute-to-minute -minute analysis of Matrix Reloaded. Last time, the Merovingian explained to Neo how choice was an illusion. Neo, Morpheus, and Trinity were following orders of the Oracle without understanding the why, and that food can be used to manipulate anyone's code and become impulsive. The Merovingian ends their meeting with a threat for the Oracle, but what he did not know was that the Oracle was two steps ahead of him. Welcome to Matrix Explained. Welcome to the desert of the real. Oh, well. Touch me, and that hand will never touch anything again. Some of the programs that escort Morpheus, Trinity, and Neo were former agents of the Matrix. Others were possibly raised by the Merovingian. As we've explained in a previous video, the Merovingian helps exiled programs to add them to his ranks. Some of the programs are adults when they join the Merovingian, but others are children who are sent to his boarding school. Well, that didn't go so well. Are you certain the Oracle didn't say anything else? Yes. Maybe we did something wrong. Or didn't do something. No, what happened happened and couldn't have happened any other way. How do you know? We are still alive. The trio was sent by the Oracle to find the Keymaker. However, nothing went as expected. They were met with an impasse, a program who was philosophically opposed to everything they believed in and who wasn't the least bit interested in helping them. This meeting is important because while everything seemed to have gone wrong, Morpheus still believes in the Oracle. This is a reaffirmation of Morpheus's predetermined stance. Though he just attended a philosophy session on causality, his beliefs did not wane. Morpheus believes that since they are still alive, the Oracle must be right. And at the perfect moment, the elevator door opens and Persephone is waiting for them. If you want the Keymaker, follow me. Morpheus smiles because he had just been vindicated. The Oracle was right. We will explain how exactly that the Oracle manipulated the Merovingian and Persephone shortly. Get out! I am so sick and tired of his bullshit. On and on. Pompous prick. A long time ago, when we first came here, it was so different. He was so different. He was like you. I'll give you what you want, but you have to give me something. Persephone's comment regarding Neo reminding her of her husband from long ago has been interpreted as the Merovingian once being the one. However, what Persephone may be implying is that the Merovingian once loved her as much as Neo loves Trinity. He was perhaps revered as a hero to the exiled programs, but over time, the Frenchman changed, and this change could be attributed to the philosophy of causality, since the Merovingian eventually understood that he did not have a purpose beyond what the architect programmed him with. That realization turned him into a monster. A kiss? Excuse me. I want you to kiss me as if you were kissing her. There are many theories as to why Persephone asked Neo for a kiss, some we've already discussed on this channel. Sometimes the simplest explanation is the correct one. Maybe she did only want it to feel what it was like to be passionately kissed by someone in love, but she could be copying the anomaly's code with that kiss. Persephone is an old program that wanted to experience human emotions, and this caused a negative reaction in Trinity. Just a sample. Why don't you sample this instead? Trinity. If it wasn't for Morpheus, Trinity would have killed Persephone. I envy you. This is the first, and perhaps only time, that a Matrix program has openly admitted to feeling envious of a human. Although there are theories that Trinity was a program as well. But such a thing is not meant to last. Interestingly, Persephone was right. The lovers were only hours away from being separated forever, which makes Persephone somewhat of a prophet herself. Persephone knew that once she hands over the Keymaker to Neo, the Matrix will be restarted and the relationship between Trinity and Neo will end. Her prophecy is an educated prediction. 
Persephone leads the trio to the Merovingian Chateau, where two of his minions, Cain and Abel, are watching the 1960s horror classic, The Brides of Dracula. Cain and Abel are exiled programs from the Nightmare Matrix, a version of the Matrix where monsters like vampires existed. So it is kind of meta that they are watching a vampire flick. They could be watching a fictional representation of the world they came from. Fun fact, in Bram Stoker's Dracula, directed by Francis Ford Coppola, Keanu Reeves played the role of Jonathan Harker, and Monica Bellucci, who was Persephone, was one of Dracula's brides. Quite a coincidence, don't you think? Though there are no coincidences, only cause and effect. My husband saved them because they're notoriously difficult to terminate. How many people keep silver bullets in their gun? Persephone leaves one of them alive to warn the Merovingian, and then she takes the trio to the Keymaker. My name is Neil. Yes, I'm the Keymaker. I've been waiting for you. Everything is going according to the Oracle's plan. The party exits the dungeon up to the main floor of the chateau. The main floor is filled with pieces of art. The mural is of particular interest. The giant letter M refers to the Merovingian, looking down upon a great battle of angels against humans, symbolizing the machine war before the creation of the Matrix. In the behind-the-scenes documentary, it's explained that the mural symbolizes the Merovingian's influence over the war. His initial was positioned at the top center of the painting overlooking the battlefield, manipulating both sides. We have a video analyzing the mural. Oh. Persephone, how could you do this? You betray me! You did it put on the bottle to sacrifice the coup de merde! Cause and effect, my love. Ironically, Persephone had perfectly demonstrated cause and effect. Now let's recap everything that has happened so far in these scenes. Neo, Trinity, and Morpheus went to get the Keymaker at the behest of the Oracle. The Merovingian showed Neo that anybody can be manipulated using food and how impulses can lead people to act irrationally. Funny how the Merovingian's show and tell about cause and effect led him to cheat on Persephone and in turn leads her to betray him by helping Neo as an act of revenge. The Oracle sending Neo to meet the Merovingian started a chain of events that resulted in the release of the Keymaker. If she hadn't, then the Merovingian would not have sent the dessert to the woman. He would not have cheated on his wife, at least not at that moment, and Persephone would not have had the opportunity to get back at him. If Trinity had not gone with Neo, Persephone wouldn't have been interested in their relationship. Everything is cause and effect, and everything went according to plan, proving that not even the Merovingian can avoid the influence of the Oracle. So what do you think? Did the Oracle know how things were going to play out? Next time, Neo fights the Merovingians' exiles. For Matrix Explained, please leave a like and subscribe. And thank you for visiting the Desert of the Real.